everyone, Freely Hero here, and welcome to today's video series called Under the Cover, where we'll be looking into RNG based perk rolls and combinations and seeing how they affect the weapon as a whole, from good perk rolls to bad perk rolls. Then, giving you an overall verdict if you should hunt one down and add it to your collection or shard it. Today's weapon we'll be looking into is the exclusive Winging Nail Auto Rifle from the Black Army DLC, with its role having a unique role of Dragonfly and Mulligan built into it. Its stats are the following. Impact 29, Range 64, Stability 51, Handling 51, Reload 52, Aim Assist 37, Recoil Direction 69, and Magazine 32. The Ring and Now is a 450 RPM precision frame auto rifle with a TDK of 0.93, requiring 7 critical hits and 1 body shot to kill. Landing criticals in the Crucible are worth 26, while bodies are worth 17, which sounds low for an AR category, but is actually the second best and most balanced category for the ARs in game, with high impacts coming first in terms of TDK damage. For the perks, we have the following. The first slot, Mayrin RDS and Mayrin RDL scopes. Second slot, Alloy Magazine and Fled Magwell. Third slot, Dragonfly. Fourth slot, Mulligan. Masswork Reload. Now the role currently shown may not look a very unique role that we should aim for, for both PvE and PvP, but it's the only weapon that can roll Milligan within this category. Now what I mean by this is that currently there are only 7 weapons in game that can roll with this perk, being Hammerhead, Beloved, Bad News Black Army Edition, Bane of Sorrows, No Feelings, Show of Force Black Army Edition and Ringing Nail. Out of those there, only 2 of the weapons there are for auto by creation, being Hammerhead and Bane of Sorrow. But these are only heavy exclusives, while the ring now is a full auto, but available for the second slot whenever, so you'll be able to use this for 99% of the content in game. Because of this, this makes the ring now the only full auto in game that can roll this perk and have it active for all type of content without any strict restrictions put in place. So that's mark 1 as to why you should grind for one and keep it in your inventory as a collector's edition. Mark 2. The weapon's stats are very solid across the board with its range, stability, handling and reload speed all being above the 50 ranges, which is ideal for PvP if this is where you want to go ahead and use the weapon. Although its aim assist can be improved further and its recoil direction does need to be rounded up to be at least a whole number or at least ending in 5, so the recoil direction can be vertical for the user. Those there can be easily adjusted by mods or perks depending on what role you get, but it doesn't put the weapon out of use if you still don't get the needed requirements to improve on these areas. The weapon functions quite fine without the needed upgrade, which is why I like this weapon quite a lot for its forgiveness and ease of use for everyone. So that's two reasons as to why you should get the weapon and perk it has, but two reasons may not be enough for everyone, so here's a third. Mulligan on a assault rifle is amazing for continuous fire upon players in the crucible with no repercussions. So if any of you have played with the sweet business in the crucible, then you would understand by what I mean by continuous firepower, and by that I mean literally setting volleys of rounds at players in areas where they can't push up, or areas that are popular with firefights. You coming in with 100 plus rounds in your magazine is definitely going to end in a fun but disastrous outcome for most players as you must be mad or insane to generally fight back against someone using the sweet business. However, the downside to the weapon is its slow reload speed, low reserves and slow startup, which if you want to get up and catch players out for, you need to pre-start up from a safe distance to catch them off guard, which also means you're wasting a few rounds on your end to start off with. It's not needed, but it's the best way to get their first kill onto most players. With Mulligan on the ring and nail, that actually allows us to make a Persuader version of the sweet business, without the startup spin and with better stats across the board. Mulligan has a 50 50 chance to activate and can give you back a round to your magazine if you miss a shot. On snipers with low magazines, this could by chance reduce the chances of the perk activating, which may hurt the weapon or it may actually benefit the weapon. It's all 50 50. But for an AR with 32 in the magazine, this allows us to basically continuously shoot down lanes to bait or cut off enemy players, and with that, we also get ammo back to our main magazine on a 50 50 chance. I have Dragonfly in my fourth slot, so in PvE content, I can cause a lot of devastation with these two roles. For PvP, I would swap it out for Under Pressure or Zen Moon for better stability over time, or to make it similar to Sweet Business, then Ambitious Assassin with an added on magazine increase mod for even more hilarity to come. So, is this role for the weapon a shadow or keep? The answer is keep, and that's all because of its good stats across the board, and the fact that it's the only weapon that can roll Mulligan on this weapon category. 
it may not be the most strongest ARs to use in PvP, which is fine, as the perks I have shown are more catered to PvE rather than PvP, but it's flexible, and simple stats allow users both old and new to be able to pick the weapon up and use it there and then. Plus, Mulligan on his weapon works out well with his large magazine, making it even more forgiving if you miss your shots, and more chances to recorrect your missing shots and designate your dragonfly. If you're a collector for anything rare in a weapon, from perk design to certain combinations, I highly recommend you try to farm one with Mulligan and Ambitious Assassin built into it. I assure you, you won't ever need to stop firing when in PvP or PvP using it. And currently, I am trying to grind for one as well, but Lady Luck, in terms of me, is not going well. So, that comes to the end of Weapons Perk Review video for this week's content. I have plenty more weapons to show off with unique perk synchronizations that you should try and give a go, but like always, I will show that another time. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like, a sub, and share the video with others who are interested in this type of stuff. Also, follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny and Anthem based content if that's your type of thing. Link is down below. Once again, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you in the next one.